guys, Mr. Allen C here, and today we are checking out the official Xbox storage expansion card. It's made by Seagate, it's one terabyte, and it plugs into the back of your Xbox Series X or Xbox Series S. And this is the only one currently on the market that will let you play next-gen games that require high-speed load rates. So, for most next-gen titles... They won't go on the ordinary SST. You have to get this exact one at this current time. Let's pop it open and take a look. Right inside the box, we have it uh, within another little cardboard piece. Let's pop it out of there. All right, take a look at that, guys. Nice and thin, one terabyte of space here. And it looks like it's in a little case. It's got the official Xbox logo and the Seagate logo right here. You'll pop the case off, and this is what you're going to want to slide into the back of your Xbox Series S or Xbox Series X. So this, this is the the fastest available right now. This is what you need for most next-gen games to work, to play right off of this. So let's go ahead, plug it into my Xbox Series S, see how it works. And I just wanted to show you on my Xbox. Here you can see the uh, game lineup. You can see optimized for Xbox Series S games listed right here. Now these either need to be installed on your actual Xbox or on the exact uh, memory card I just showed you that we unboxed together. But these ones, the Xbox games, these ones can go on external HDDs, any of them. Um, but when it comes to the new ones, the ones optimized for Series X and S, they need to either be on the actual hard drive or on this card and seeing as the series s only comes with you know um i think it's 500 gigabytes this extra terabyte really is needed so let's pop it in the back all right now keep in mind just because i have a series s doesn't mean that you can't use this with the xbox series x this works with that as well they both have a storage expansion slot so we're going to put it in there for the first time see if I can get it lined up with all these cords push it in there make sure it's lined up good there it is very cool so that's on there now I'll see if I need to restart the device I'm also of course rocking this I think it's six or seven terabytes it's the WD black this is much cheaper but it can't do the optimized for Xbox Series X and S games but I'm packing a wallop between these two now I can store the older games on here and play them, and then store the newer games on there and play them. Let's go ahead and check out what my Xbox S is telling me up here. Okay. Just taking a look. All storage free, 4.5 terabytes. Um, let me take a closer look and come back to you guys. One moment. Okay, I'm trying to do a really good job covering this for you guys because nobody seems to cover this. And as an Xbox owner, I was so confused. So here's the internal storage on my Xbox Series S right here. Uh, it says I use 77.1, or no, I got 77.1 gigabytes available of the 364 that's built into the system. Wow, that's not much. Then we got, this is that uh, external hard drive, not the one we unboxed today, but the cheaper one. This is a big boy. It says I got 3.5 terabytes of 4.5 terabytes available on that. That can hold the older Xbox games, not the new ones that are optimized for Series S and X. And then here's our brand new one. Uh, it's 0% full storage expansion card, 9.1, I'm sorry, 919.9 gigabytes free of 920 gigabytes. So that that's three times bigger than what was on almost three times bigger than what was on the console to begin with. So this can do all the new games and play it right off of it. So that's really was necessary for me with my Series S. I'd also recommend it with the Series X. And uh, that's how it works, guys. Thank you so much for checking it out. Now, let's say you wanted to do an optimized game, a game that was optimized for Series X or S onto the WD Black, the cheaper hard drive here. You could store it on there, but you couldn't play it on there. It would either have to be on the internal storage or the expansion card we unboxed today. Once again, you could store the new games on that uh, WD Black, but if you want to actually play it right off of there, 
needs to be on this card or the internal storage. Thanks for checking out the product, guys. I had fun going through this, and I hope you guys have a great day. Bye-bye.